Good morning! It is dark and it is cold. I believe it's, uh, it's right in the low 20s right now. And uh, we've got an interesting job today. So, backstory time. Here in Central Oregon, uh, food truck courts have become incredibly popular. Like where uh, a lot of times they have breweries or something like that and they set up where there's like five to ten food trucks that are just there permanently and that's where they stay. I guess they lease a space there and it's a six month, a year, two year, whatever lease. And uh, that's where they all stay permanently and they sell all the food and either the brewery or the, the place that they're at sells all the drinks. Uh, so a lot of these food trucks don't run because they go somewhere and stay there for like a year. But today we are going to get a, I believe it's a mac and cheese truck uh, from a brewery in La Pine at their food truck court. And we're gonna tow it up to Ben and put it in the food truck court at a brewery up there. And uh, it doesn't run, so we gotta tow it, of course. And it seems like we're picking it up pretty easy, but where we're putting it, uh, my truck and that truck together will not fit. So we're gonna have to get a little creative, maybe do some winching to get it into a new spot there. So we are headed down the road to see, I don't know, what we get to do today. Okay, we have hit a bunch of uh, ice. I don't know if you can see the glare behind that truck ahead of me, but, uh, the road is not, well, it was wet yesterday, I guess, but that is pure ice. Uh, but when you see a glare like that off of there, there it is. Um, with no road spray, that means it's not wet road, it is ice road. And now that we're getting higher up the hill, the ice is going away. So, uh, forget what I just said, unless it's icy on the downhill too. Hey, there's the lights of town up there, right as daylight is starting, which is perfect trying to get this done early because it is supposed to snow uh, later today. I prefer to have this done before that happens. So. Okay. Yeah, I would go right on the bed if it wasn't for that. Yeah, I figured. That's the... That thing. Yep. <laughs> That's okay. Now we got some blocks out. We'll lift it up block it and get it forked from the bottom pull the drive line out hang some lights on the back and good to go all right sweet. okay before we get too close we'll slide the bed back i think these are the ones i'm gonna need hopefully those are the ones i need Now I'll back up to it so we can lift it and uh, grab it. Uh, the, the wheel grid set I ordered would be perfect for this where it just grabs it by the tires because uh, this has an independent front suspension, but you can still fork these. It's uh, just a little trickier to grab.
Okay, now I gotta pull the drive line out and uh, I got a handy dandy new little drive line bag that should have everything I need. Always make sure the drive line's loose, which it's not. I put the cable tie on it before I pulled it all the way loose so it can't fall to the ground. Now I can cinch it up. Okay, we're tied down, safety chain's on. It's in neutral, drive line's pulled and out and all that. Light's good. So we are good to go. Alright. So I'll meet you guys up there. Sounds good. Okay, PTO off, brakes off kind of a screwed turn. I want to short it that way so that I don't bottom out the back end of this thing uh, in the entryway right there. It's not super deep, but fun fact, this used to be a super cool little Mexican restaurant, like one of the best around, and they shut down and now it's a brewery. Okay. Jake brake on. Terrible. Uh, yep. Let's go. Now I've got about an hour drive back up north to where this thing's going and uh, not the worst views and sunrise along the way. So we'll head up there and try to figure out how to get it. I already looked at the spot it's got to go into. Um, it's definitely not going to get back right in and park there. So. We'll see how it goes. Hi. Thumbs up you too. I don't know who you are, but thank you. <laughs> nice sunrise this morning. Yep, still icy on this side of the hill. And as soon as we came over, everybody got onto it and slammed on their brakes. Luckily, no one spun out. Yeah, this is all downhill. We're about 4,500 feet elevation. And this side of the hill is just glare ice. Super fun. Okay, scales are open, so just pulled in here, rolled through, green light all the way. So now we'll get back on the freeway and keep cruising. Okay, we're gonna stop here in the street and walk in because we had to go in here. They're supposed to move a bunch of stuff so I could make it through here because I can't go the normal driveway that like customers used to get into this place. So once uh, you're here, go check and make sure before we go pulling in there with that thing. Good. Perfect, straight shot right through. There's, this is a back alleyway that's like seating and all that stuff normally but I'm gonna come through here to get this thing in. Do you think he sees that big beam sticking yeah, out? Okay.
<laughs> Slow and steady, right? That's what they say. Okay, hold the brake. The pull from down low so we don't pull up into the body. We're lined up right close to that trailer. We're off a few inches from that one, but pretty darn square. Yeah. I mean it's square, your your things here. Yeah. I'm good with it, you're good with it. I'm good with it. You know the only That means I'm good with it. So if you're looking for some mac and cheese, this is where the mac and cheese truck is. And uh, it is at Bevel Craft Brewing. They're off of uh, 9th Street here in Bend. We've got tacos and burritos, mac and cheese, whatever that is. Raul's is a little bigger and it hangs over. Good with it? All right, I'll put my stuff away. One shot right. wonder, man. Yeah, I think that was like three or four shots. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not like you had to move the truck. No, the truck was able to stay. That was handy. Okay, then before we slide the bed forward, we'll put our forks back. They go like that. No. Like, no. Definitely haven't had it the first time. Why is this not lining up like I thought? Close enough. Okay. Now, put the remote away and uh, Reinflate the suspension, kick the PTO off, idle down. All right, well, we are out of here. That went really good. Um, they did a really good job getting everything cleared out and make sure I had room to get in here. I came and looked at this a few days ago, and uh, there was some stuff that needed moved for me to get in here, and then uh, they got all that moved this morning and made sure no cars were in that parking lot there, so I had room to work there, and that made the job very nice and easy. So, good job them. Uh, now, I'm going to head out of here and go see what's next for the day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that and uh, see you next time.